Father, we thank you because you are the only God. Every other God is just man-made. Lord, I pray that this day, your mighty power will move in our midst and make impossible possible. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. By the special grace of God, we are concluding tonight on the program, The God of Elijah. And we've been on this, we discover that God's faithfulness, mercy, was bestowed upon Elijah. God took care of him and through him became a blessing to his generation. Last week we saw how the prophets of Baal came to prove that they are gods are the ones to be worshipped. Elijah withstood him at the Mount of Camel and told him, the God that answers by fire, that's the God always serve. And they said, you have said right. He gave them first chance to prove. They prepared the animal for sacrifice. Keeping Joe. He prepared his own altar. Bullocks, pieces with the wood. He called upon his God. Not up to 10 minutes prayers, fire came down from heaven, consumed the thing for sacrifice. All that witnessed it shouted, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Elijah said, it will not end like that. He gathered all the prophets of Baal and slaughtered them. And we're concluding today by going through in 1 Kings chapter 18, abundance of rain coming. Abundance of rain coming. And dearly beloved, I have this to say that whosoever believes God will see the manifestation of his power. As the name of this church connotes, old time faith. Old time faith. I want everybody to believe the Lord. Boy or girl, man or woman, learned or unlearned, rich or poor, no matter where you are. I want you to trust the Lord. The God of Elijah is the God of Pastor Walter. God can never change. And in your situation, he will prove himself mighty. At the beginning of this year, there was a prophetic roadmap the Lord gave unto us. And this prophetic roadmap is on three E's. The first E is enlargement in all ramifications. Expansion in all ramifications. You've not seen the expansion or it's like just some words coined into a sentence. 
go beyond that. See it as prophetic. Believe it. Walk towards actualizing it. This year, we will expand spiritually, materially, financially, intellectually. It's a year of expansion. Now listen to this. Anytime you are in the sanctuary of the Lord, this should be at the back of your mind. What's the river that goes on that day? We end up bringing to pass the prophetic roadmap enlargement in all ramifications. And the second E is embarrassing breakthrough. Embarrassing. Our people will say, when you give somebody something greater than him, he will ask you, to whom do you want me to give this? <laughs> because to him is, he couldn't believe a person like him to have this. Well, this year is a year of little effort and great result. Yeah. Little prayers and great answers. Yeah. I want to remind you, refresh your memory. God has not forgotten. Pastor Water has not forgotten. This is a year of enlargement. Now, listen. In the book of Joshua chapter 6, God told Joshua, Joshua, see Jericho. I've given it unto you for your possession. It could be because of the sayings of God, the devil had it and told the people, say, shut up the gates. Let me see how they can have access. The walls that surrounded the city, in fact, you can't penetrate. You can't crawl, jump across something that is from here to the tall of this building. And the church history has it that the thickness, two vehicles will overtake the other on the thickness of the wall. <laughs> Bro, who are you to challenge such a reinforced concrete wall? What can you do to it? And besides, the gates as high, as tall as the wall, well solidified. Immediately, the announcement was made. The gate was, the Bible says, strictly shut against Joshua and his men. Let us see how you will do it. It could be since the announcement had been made, this is a year of enlargement. Some power said, for saying that, the circled walls around you. Let's see how you can move. Let's see you, how you can expand. Let's see the extent you can go. <laughs> Brother, don't look on those things. He that has spoken, faithful is he who will bring it to pass. Yeah. How it will happen shouldn't be your headache. But all you need to do, believe it. It's a year of enlargement. You are going, you are confessing. It's a year of enlargement in my business. It's a year of enlargement in my spiritual life. It's a year of enlargement in my academic pursuits. It's a year of enlargement in all that I'm doing. It's a year of, en as you are saying, it's a year of enlargement. It's like the walls are moving. The walls started coming closer to you. Surrounding you. It's like, ready on your mask, set, go. The walls here coming. The other one coming. The other one coming. At the back coming. Let's see how you will expand. Solidified wall. Keep saying what you are saying. Since walls don't move. And they decided to move because of your saying. Keep saying what you are saying. 
the, word, the way they came, the same way they will go back. And not just going back, you will see them crumble. Green. And then you move forward and possess your possession. But dearly beloved, let me tell you something. I strongly believe God. This season, those who believe the Lord will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The Sunday, Sunday Christians will be left behind. Others will be grumbling, I don't know what is going on. I, this sister, I was in this church, she came. This brother, I was in this... Keep, keep that by the wayside. This year, this year is a year of enlargement. I don't care who is hearing me. I don't care the forces they are releasing. I don't care the powers that are doing one thing or the other to make sure I don't move forward. I am telling them, oh my God, nothing shall stop me. Nothing shall stop you, brother. Sister, nothing shall stop you. As the walls were surrounding Jericho, God said, Joshua, he is for you. Go and take it. But just simple instruction. Natural man will ask, where is the dynamite to crack this rock and raise it down? No question. Simple instruction, move around the wall seven times. Go and rest. Nobody should talk. If every, for seven days, first day, march around the wall. Go and rest. When you are talking about the wall, it's not just a city, a city. It could be Port Harcourt as a whole. It's a, a Herculean task. Moving from, can I say, I don't know, LMA Junction, over there, East West Road, getting to the border, turning around, crossing to Abonima Wap, turning back, coming here, then go and rest. Nobody could talk. The people will say, all of you are mumu. You are stupid. How do you think? Okay, continue marching. We are on top of the tower looking at you. Let's see what, how that magic will take place. As they were there, believing that God who said it will bring it to pass. I just want you, I've not started, but I want to raise your faith because of the things I'm going to say tonight. I want you to believe the Lord. And when it's the seventh day, the trumpeter blew the trumpet. And the people shouted. Power from nowhere got to the foundation of the walls. Rocked them in pieces. In fact, remember they are this side and it couldn't just fall towards their side or else it would crush them. The walls helped to kill all of them. And those that escaped, they entered and massacred them and set the city on fire. If they were able to believe their God, brother, believe your God. Sister, close your eyes on what you are seeing. Believe what God is saying. Powers are threatening. Forces are, as we say, God of Elijah. It's like the forces that have been tormenting you increase their attack ten times. Relax. As I'm talking now, they are losing their grip over you. As I'm speaking now, you, you, you can see life coming back gradually by the time the last amen is said. The deed is done. So, I want you to trust God. Believe God. Don't doubt. You will see the goodness of the Lord tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. In First Kings chapter 18, from verse 41. And Elijah said unto Ahab, remember we are talking about abundance of rain. So I told you the three E's, I will only mention two. One is enlargement in all ramifications. 
The two is embarrassing breakthrough. Oh my God. Embarrassing. That is, you can't believe it is happening. It can a barren conceive. Triplets. It's, a, it's so embarrassing. To Elizabeth, it was an embarrassing miracle. She discovered that she was pregnant. She said, I can't withstand the, what people will say. She went hiding. How long will you hide? She moved out, and the world that saw her started saying, God, to thee be the glory. After now, somebody that sees you will want to follow you to your church. And lastly, engrossment in God's service. So winning, evangelism, we will so much serve the Lord, get ourselves buried in his activities to reciprocate of the enlargement and to reciprocate of the embarrassing breakthrough. So that when God sees your attitude, <laughs> he will double the miracles. So we are considering abundance of rain coming. In 1 Kings chapter 18 from verse 41, and Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. And he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. Chai. I pray that somebody's faith will grow tonight to grasp the unrealistic, invisible thing that will become real at the end. And he said, verse 43, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he carried up his loins and he ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Praise the Lord. For about three years and six, six months, there had not been rain according to the declaration of the servant of God, which we see in 1 Kings chapter 17. 1 Kings 17, verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. In chapter 18, verse 1, and it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab 
and I will send rain upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Beloved, just as I slightly told us last week, the rain, it has never rained for three solid years and six months. No single dew. As is hot, 1 p.m., by 1 a.m., it's still hot. Round the clock, from week to week, 365 days, times three, times six months. The people were roasted. The king didn't find it funny. It was terrible in the land. The drought caused a lot of harm. Number one, it brought dehydration upon man and beasts. When the temperature increases, man sweats. And you can see man gets dehydrated. The water in man just gets out. And from their dryness was upon man. Animals could not withstand that. Many of them were thirsty of water. The pools of water, the brooks dried up. Streams dried up. The people suffered. Another thing we discovered was grasses died. No single grass. He got to a point. Ahab told his servant, he said, please move around the valley to the stream and see if you can see grass so that all our animals will not perish. They were traveling two kilometers, three kilometers, looking for single grass. Nowhere to be found. Punishment. Their animals died. Man suffered. Heat of the sun tormented the inhabitants of the Israelites. After three years and six months, God sent Elijah to bring down rain. Can we bring the, make the picture a little bit closer to us? If we look at the condition of Israel at this moment, it was so bad. No single rain, everywhere dryness. It could be in your personal life, dryness, financial dryness, health dryness. Nothing you put your hand ever works. Trouble upon trouble from left, right, and center. You try to do this, you don't understand. As you testify and rejoice today, tomorrow, the greater thing that will take away the former testimony will land. Boy. You say, God, what did I do to deserve all this? And permit me to say that there could be a lot of forces that could cause such a thing, Israel witness, in the life of my present generation. One source is God Almighty. The torture, the trouble they were going through right now was caused by God himself because Ahab abandoned the God that made him king and started serving gods that never created heavens. A lot of warnings came unto him. Instead of obeying God, he obeyed his wife Jezebel and turned the people against God by introducing Baal. 
and Israel had to suffer with them. So God can punish, God can trouble a family, God can make things difficult for a family. That's just that. Two, household enemies can make lives horrible for some people. Can frustrate, can put people on, on a high jump, weaken their spiritual strength, destroy their businesses. It is struggles to, that doesn't have an end. Another thing that can cause my generation's states to look like that of Israel is ancestral forces, ancestral powers. The gods the forefathers served that said, since nobody is willing to recognize me in this compound, I must be eating them up one by one. Every year, two people. Every year, two people. Every year, two, until they recognize me. It could be such. It could be marine powers. And they are standing and saying, no way. No marriage. Because the entire children had been married to me. The men can marry. The women can marry. They will remain like this. Another thing that can lead to the state of Israelite is human error. Human error. Man, man's mistake can lead to crying, spiritual dryness, financial dryness, problems of diverse sorts. The last but not the least, inherited causes. Inherited causes can make the life of the people look like that of the Israelites at this time moments but I stand here with a good news as the Lord sent Elijah to go to Ahab and to bring back rain the Lord had sent me I'm standing this moment to turn things around for good in your life I am standing here not by my own strength or power. I am sent as Elijah was sent. So, irrespective of the devastation, the trouble, the forces, the powers, the torture, the oppression, the calamity, the sorrow, the horror, reign of God's blessing is coming. Abundance of reign of blessings they are coming. Amen. Brother, listen. <laughs> really, I don't know. I don't know. If somebody told blind Bartimaeus, born blind, that he would ever see light in life, he wouldn't have believed. But a day came. When supernatural neutralized natural, the association of blind men were at a joint where crowd used to pass. And they have been there. It could be once a while they will hear a high, some little discussions. But this particular day, the kind of discussions, wah, 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 noise all over. He used his walking stick, hit somebody. Please, my people, what this noise I'm hearing? What's going on? They looked at him. Oh, no, we won't blame you. Sorry, sir. We won't blame you because you cannot see that man of Galilee. Jesus Christ is passing by. He said, so, is it why I'm hearing all this noise? He said, yes. The association of blind men, they were all there. Mr. Peter, why are you disturbing yourself? Come and sit down here. The man believed that he could see, irrespective of 
where he had been for years. Brother, sister, whosoever that will believe the word of God from my mouth, this moment, the, such a person's life will be, I, I lack words to quantify. Honor before this meeting is over. You see things good happening around you. Listen, you must believe it first before it can manifest. That's God's pattern. While he was crying, Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me. Have, hear me. Have mercy on me. Others to him, shut up. Your noise is even disturbing us more than the noise of others. What are you, all these coins we are receiving here? Aren't you satisfied? What, what, what the hell with you? He cried the more. The crying, the noise of the crowd. His voice went high. Because he so much believed that he could see again. At the end, Jesus heard him. Sent for him. What do you want? I want my eyes back. I want to see. Immediately, he saw. He believed it where he was before it manifested. Brothers and sisters, whatsoever be your situation now, health-wise, financial-wise, as I'm going to read these scriptures, believe it, and as we are going to pray, count it down. Brother, count it down. As Elijah said, I can hear the sound of abundance of rain. Uh, let, let me tell you, it's incredible. It's, in, it's something unbelievable. It has never rained for three years and six months. And somebody just appeared and said, now, now, now. Rain is coming. And the cloud is as bright as anything. Where is the cloud that will bring the rain? Elijah went to pray. Ask his servant, check. Can you see cloud? He says, sir, <laughs> nothing. I could see Ahab with his soldiers mocking him. <laughs> Man of God. Go and sit down, all these uh, rubbish things. He prayed again. He said, go and check. Sir, nothing. He prayed again, so go and check. Nothing. Six times. Go and check. Nothing. Seven times. He said, I see cloud like man's hand. A little cloud in a bright sunny day. <laughs> Say, Ahab, run. Run. This thing. Ahab mounted his horse and started. In the next three minutes, that small cloud covered the entire nation. And everywhere was dark. Brother, sister, the words coming out of my mouth is already creating something that will turn your life for good, even this moment. You may not see it, but just believe it. You may not know how it's going to work. Just be, brother, some are stepping out in a moment to change class. Yeah. I started the message by reminding us of God's roadmap for this year. Enlargement in all ramifications. Embarrassing breakthrough. Engrossment in God's service. So, all these things. Human effort is but little. It is God that will do the 90%. Our effort to eat is 10%. That is just believe the Lord. Walk according to his word. He had decided. He had heard the cry of his handmaid. And he said, my son, tell them this year. 
All those prayers that have not been answered, answers will come. Tell them this year, the long-awaited miracles, those of them who have been patient, others left the church to go and do assignments. But this one said, there is no assignment, that Jesus is enough for me. God's word is sufficient unto me. Tell them, I'm going to embarrass them with miracles. And part of it is <laughs> abundance of rain coming. Yeah. Abundance of rain. I'm not talking about physical rain. Spirit, rain of blessings. Yeah. I mean, rain of blessings. Yeah. Brother, you've not enjoyed before. Get ready to enjoy. Yeah. This year, this year, it doesn't take years. For somebody's condition to change. It doesn't take years. Just one minute. Any moment. I don't know whom the Lord is talking to. And so believe it. And you will see it come to pass. So I am here. Because I am sent. To change the ugly tra trends. To turn things around for good in your life. How will it come? Now let's get back to where we're reading. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41, And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Brother, I'm hearing a sound of abundance of rain. Sister, there is a sound of abundance of rain. Begin to get receptacles, vessels to gather. Oh my God, that's a sound of abundance of rain. It's coming upon the soil that is parched. It's coming upon the dried soil. It's coming upon the, the land that everywhere is cracked because of dryness. And life is coming back. Life, I mean life. Somebody's life. Life is coming back to somebody's life. Life, I mean life. I mean life, 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 life, I say life. Life is coming back into somebody's life. My brother, life is coming back into somebody's life. Oh no. The years that have gone, all the sufferings up and down in life, God is telling me to tell you, the sound of abundance of rain is coming upon your life. Amen. And those who will see you shooting out, shooting out, they called you dried stick. And now when the rain falls, you see, shooting out from this angle, shooting out from the other angle, shooting out from the other angle. To those who called you barren, hmm, children will pursue you. Yeah. You will see something, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yeah. And in verse 43, and say to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. Verse uh, 44, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand and he said go up say unto Ahab prepare thy chariot get thee down that the rain stop thee not and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black what is it not empty cloud rather cloud with rain the land of Israel had a torrential heavy downpour it rained on that cat and dogs. None could escape it. It was, oh, 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 oh. tap was opened. <laughs> Those who were crying because you are using a car somebody had used after 10 years. <laughs> Let them wait. It is in your house. You'll be removing the waterproof. What you are tearing the water, that's why we call it what tear. Huh? What 
is happening? The wife born twins. And we are talking about that. Him go by Tia Robber. Him belong to secret society. Because no man can, I, I, I don't think, I don't, he, he, he has done money, money ritual. Anything they want to talk. In fact, this is the season people will talk. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. because of the abundance of rain that is coming, be prepared to hear them say, Your success will attract jealousy. You are so I mean you are success. You are success will attract jealousy. This is a year that the promise of God, thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you are there. Salad is there, fried chicken is here, uh, yori yori is there, yum yum is here. And uh, Papa Peter is saying, well, well, shall we pack out of this compound for them? Look, look at what they are eating. And God, you are God. Uh, look at Papa Peter. He say, my son, don't mind him. Enjoy. I am the one that prepared that table before all of them. He said, Papa Peter said, I will not live to enjoy it. Who is Papa Peter? Who had said that it came to pass when I have not said? Don't mind him. Enjoy. God, I heard that Papa Peter buried poison and said, as I drive out, something will happen to the car. Shut up. I own up and down. Move. Papa Peter was what? You were inside your room with your remote. You opened the door. Use your remote. Check engine. Whether oil is there. Inside your room. Hey, say, Pastor Water, which kind of something? And the, the signals, everything correct, 100%. Press another button, engine crash. You don't even hear the sound. You won't, if, when if you see, unless it blows, pee pee, ah. What, what, which kind of this? People will see you and serve the God you serve. People will see. Listen, I can hear the sound of abundance of rain. Everywhere may look so dry. Situation may look so horrible. Brother, believe what I'm saying. Sister, believe what I'm saying. You may be in the village carrying baskets, following your mom to farm. You just came back from farm. And you say, oh, this is a meeting this evening. I don't know whether I'm tired. With all the blisters in my hands as I was cutting that firewood. And you just got there. And as I'm talking now, you're saying, <laughs> Pastor Water, talk to them that are in Portacot. Not for me that is in this village. God knows your address. The king of Israel was not found in the city, he was picked in the bush where he was taking care of his father's flock. Samuel said, the horn of this oil will not touch ground until I've anointed that boy, the king of Israel. Where you are, I came from the poorest family. That's why this message is for you. In fact, I don't think I merited it. You don't need to merit it. That is favor. In fact, in our village, nobody has ever done it. That's why you should do it. I, I, in fact, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Who? Mike, Mike, Mike. No, no. It's so, a thing like this. You see, it has never happened that um, the man just came warm. Everything, traditional marriage now, in the evening, wedding. Ah, no. Mm -mm. Dearly beloved, let me tell you, some people will die of heart attack. Because of you. Oh, no. Oh. Let me tell you something. I want, I, don't, this, don't allow your today to destroy your tomorrow. It could be you threat. 
or coming, returning back from farm, or whatever be the business, your hand is full of dirty something. I can't forget the story. Not story. It happened life here. A brother who joined us in this church. The wife was his only one dress. We recognize the wife. And the hand of this brother is so dark. And they will come to church and they will just go. Suffer, suffer. Torture, torture. And it's a mechanic. Somebody who went to school came back, nothing. He will enter under the vehicle. Screen the knot. Coming back. He's too, he was sharing something. He said, when his wife will finish cooking, he will wash his hand and want to eat. He said, honey, wash your hand now. He said, I've washed it. It's dirty. He said, it's grease. That will show you what suffering, the extent of it. But if you look at that day and look at now, my God, <laughs> you, you, you can't compare. You can't, co you, there is no way. Every two, two weeks in the air flying. What, what is it? Eating with Oyibo? What, what, what are you talking? Somebody's condition is changing right away. I say somebody's condition. Brother, let me tell you, all the years of slavery, all the years of bondage, if it is ancestral spirit that kept you, if it was what your father did that kept you there, if it was the wicked enemy that tied you too far, represented you, the hen, your wife, the cock, you, yourself, tied two of them together. Die. They don't want to kill you, but they want you to suffer. The two legs, the four legs are tied. In the morning, they will bring food, drop for them. This one will put the head to eat. And the two of them are tied. Thank God you didn't die till now. To such, I cut off the rope that tied you right away. I cut off the rope that tied you right away. I command you be free in the name of Jesus. 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 Brothers and sisters, God is faithful. Today the story has changed for him. He has his mansion and he's moving forward. A brother who joined us here as a butcher, those of us who are into that business, he will kill goats and supply. That was his work. At that time, it was just one, I think that message is 200. But now, how many trucks on the road? How many buildings? Who could believe? Those of them who joined us at that time, to them they felt nothing will come out of old time feet. And to them that are still around, go and check. None is a mean person. Dearly beloved, I want you to trust God. The Lord sent me to bring the rain of blessings in your life. And what am I standing upon? Let's, let's look at the scriptures. And where we read, he said, verse 44, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, go up. Say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot. Get thee down. That the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass that the meanwhile, that the heaven was black. With clouds and wind. And there was a great rain. Rain of blessing is coming. I say it's coming. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. 
I read from verse 21. Joel chapter 2 from verse 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Brother, sister, the Lord will do great things. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the Lord will do great things in your life. Keep confessing it. The Lord will do great things in my life. The Lord will do great things. No matter what you are seeing, the Lord will do great things in my life. You wake up in the morning and with terrific dreams, abandon those dreams. The Lord will do great things in my life. The Lord will do it. Whatever I dreamt will not change what the word of God is saying. Because the word came first before the dream. Therefore, cancel it. Continue claiming the promise of God. I stand here to tell you, the Lord will do great things in your life. Yeah. Then, verse 22, be not afraid. Ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. Grasses that were nowhere to be found are coming up. You know, grasses are food to animal, and animals are food to man. Could you remember food chain? And that is it. The sources that will make your life a wonderful, that close, they are opening right away. Yeah. Be not afraid, verse 22, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth their fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. Three in one. Three in one. The former rain, the latter rain, and then he said, he said, the moderates, the former rain, the rain, comma, the former rain and the latter rain all joined together. Get set for the reign of God's blessings. Yeah. And God is saying, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten. I will restore to you all your losses. Yeah. I will restore to you your divine helpers that the forces chased away. Yeah. I will restore to you all your customers. I will restore to you those who appreciated what you had and that made you to go up and all of a sudden you lost them. He said, I will restore to you. The years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which has sent among you and ye shall eat in plenty. Yeah. Your amen, he said. Yeah. And ye shall eat in plenty. Yeah. You believe that? Can I get a living amen? Yeah. And ye shall eat in plenty. Yeah. And be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. That had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Yeah. My people shall never be ashamed. Rise up on your feet. I'm here to make some declarations. And whosoever that has faith to receive it, we go home smiling. Close your eyes and pray after me, my God, my Father. I'm going through all manner of things in life. Lord, I believe your word at this moment. That you can take away the reproach in a twinkling of an eye. Oh Lord, intervene on my behalf. Open your mouth and pray. Just one minute, open your mouth and pray. 
open your mouth and pray. Mm. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, Lord, this condition in my family, this condition in my life, this situation in my father's house, oh Lord, change it. Oh Lord, turn things around for good for me. Mm. 